Peace, peace, peace. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. For those of you who don't know, it's your boy Vic Slain Hope. And I come with another message. And before I get into my message, um, I would like for everybody to know that, like, you know, I come I come from a place of love, you know, when I'm when I'm about to say these things, right? Um, but I also understand that it don't matter what place of love you come from. Sometimes it don't matter how you say it. If somebody don't want to accept what you're trying to tell them, they're not going to accept it. You know, and it's very hard for people to accept hard truths. So I want to talk about accountability, specifically in a black community, right? I think people, period, right, no matter, like, where you're from, race, ethnicity, a lot of people do not like to be held accountable, right? They don't like the truth. They don't like you telling them about themselves, et cetera, and so forth, right? But these are some of the things that we need to talk about, right? And I want to focus on the black community specifically because there's a lot of stuff that goes on in the hood, right, that we either overlook or we either going to blame the white man. And I always ask this question, right, like, like how long are we going to just sit here and do that? Like, how long are we going to sit here and blame whitey or just mind our business and turn the blind eye? That's not going to help our communities, you know, um, and a lot of people... They act as though they want things to change and they want things to be different. And some people genuinely do want this. But for the most part, how are those things supposed to happen when everybody is either blaming the white man or minding their business, looking away, right? Um, I'll give you a few examples. Because I do get, you know, how we live in concentration camps. I do get... A whole bunch of different things right I, I do get you know lack of jobs fresh produce I do get a lot of those things right and at the same time there's also some things that we do to ourselves and to our people and I think one of the main problems that plagues us is our minds right our minds is one of the main things that plague us for example I'll tell you this why do you think immigrants are able to come here? And I'm talking about people from the diaspora. Why do you think immigrants are able to come to the United States and make something of themselves? Right? I'll tell you why. It's because they have a different mindset, right? They haven't been through, to a certain extent, some of the, the gruesome things, right, that black folks here have been through. But at the same time, it's, it's the mindset. It's, it's, they don't come from this narrative of, of feeling like they're inferior, right? And if anything, when they get here, they are thankful. They, they are like, you know, giving praises, right? That, they, you know, they got away from whatever situation they were in. But they're not held back by their own mind, right? They're not held back by their self-image. You know what I'm saying? So they, a lot of times they're able to come here, start businesses. And it's also... I think also, to a certain extent, the the government facilitates it, to a certain extent, but mindset is the main thing. Like, people come here, they buy homes, they, they create businesses, they do certain things. And, you know, I encourage everybody else to look into this, right? I'll give you another example, right? For example, I have met people, people oftentimes, they make excuses for the murderers, they make excuses for the, for the robbers. They make excuses for a whole bunch of crimes that some of these 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 niggas are committing in the hood. And I call them niggas because that's what they are. And that's not just that's not every black person. There's black people who are hardworking, who are just trying to get by. You know what I'm saying? Who are who are citizens, who are trying to handle their business, feed their families, and so forth. And then there's niggas. And now, like I said before in another video, niggas are destructive. Right? They don't care who they destroy in their path. They don't care who they kill, who they harm, who they steal from. They don't care who they do it to. These are niggas. You know what I'm saying? And the more we make excuses for these people, the more this behavior continues to happen. For example, niggas do shit to people, to the common people in their community, and then they expect you not to snitch, right? They expect you not to tell. First of all, you're a good Samaritan. You know? um, and then they expect you to hold it down. Don't call the police. Don't tell nobody. Like, this is just the mindset of a nigga, right? I'll give you another example. For example, I know people in the hood who will blame whatever they're doing on the white man, right? 
But these are the same people who will say things like, I will never go work at McDonald's. I will never get a job at Wendy's. I will never become a janitor, sweep floors, clean toilets. I will never, you know, do certain things. Like these, I, I have met people who have said, I will never do those things. I will never do certain things. Like who, who just, they just think they're above getting certain jobs. But you know what they will do? They will go rob your mama, my mama, my auntie. You know what I'm saying? They will go out there and harm, excuse me, they will go out there and harm our family members. You know what I'm saying? Rob them at gunpoint, gun butt them, take whatever they, they could take. These are the same people. How can we sit here and make excuses for these people and say, oh, there's no jobs in the hood? You know, they just they just can't get work. Like, how do we sit here and justify? How you sit here and justify your mama coming home one day and telling you one of these niggas took her check that she worked hard for? You know what I'm saying? How do you explain that to your landlord? Oh, I got robbed. You know, especially people be living paycheck to check, paycheck, right? How do you explain that to the landlord? You think the landlord care? You think the landlord care that some nigga took your stuff? He don't care. And they don't care either. So how we sit here and make excuses for these people? How? And you know what's the funny thing? Nobody makes excuses for a rapist who rapes people, right? Even though nine times out of ten, the person who rapes and takes advantage of somebody was possibly raped themselves. But we don't make excuses for that person. We don't say, you know what, he only rapes because, you know, he was raped. Or she was raped because she was raped. We don't make excuses for these people. You know what I'm saying? We want them to rot in jail. We want them to throw the book at them. We want them to get violated. So why is it that we make excuses for the person who takes somebody's son? Who takes somebody's daughter? Who takes somebody mom? Who takes somebody dad? Who takes somebody family member? Why do we make excuses? Like, we are so desensitized to these type of things. We make excuses for, for certain people. I think the person that was abused, I mean, even though all these other people was abused too and they got psychological issues. Like, why is it so easy for us to make excuses for all these other people? But we don't make excuses. And this is not advocating to make excuses for somebody that raped. I'm just trying to get you to see how we pick and choose who we going to make excuses for. And I'm just saying that everybody who does some, an injustice should get the same treatment. Because I don't think it's right. And I think that's part of being accountable. For example, I could sit here and blame my environment for me going to prison, for me joining a gang, for me doing certain things. But blame, what does blame do for me? All it does is provide an excuse for me not to be accountable. And again, I'm not saying that there's not other things that are going on. I'm just highlighting that even in the things that are going on, we have to be accountable to ourselves. You know I'm saying I went out there and joined the gang. I didn't have to do that. Yeah, there was gangs in my neighborhood, but I, me, I went out there and joined the gang. You know I'm saying I could make an excuse, but you know what's better? You know what's going to help me change? You know what's going to help me move in a different direction? It's being a man and being truthful to myself. I'll give you another example. I've been broke. There's been times I've been dead broke. Dead broke. And I never once went out there and, 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 and made an excuse to go rob somebody. You know, or go do some harm to somebody. And a lot of these dudes nowadays don't got no principle. And robberies are going up, by the way. I'm just letting you know. Robberies are going up. But I never sat here and made no excuse to go take something from somebody. I'm saying, even though like sometimes people like people be like, oh, I'd rather go rob, rob a drug dealer. Even though a lot of times drug dealers are trying to feed their families, they trying to do certain things. I ain't making an excuse for what he doing. I'm just saying, why go take from somebody who is trying to do the same thing you trying to do? Feed their family, take care of themselves. This is the things that I be trying to talk to you people about. You know what I'm saying? This is the things I'm trying to get us moving. You know, never once occurred to me, let me go rob somebody. Ain't no jobs in the hood, mind as well. I could never rationalize that. But there's a lot of people who do. And then there'd be a lot of people in the background saying like, yo, there ain't no jobs. The white man got us messed up. The white man, the white man, the white man. And while the white man just look at us like, yeah, we, we got him where we want him. I'm saying we got him where we want him. I'm saying niggas 
got the black community in a chokehold. And this shit is sad, man. This shit is sad. Sometimes I come on here and I try to tell the brothers, stop harassing women. Or, or stop running down. Like, you don't got to chase a woman down. Like, a woman going to let you know if she's interested. And, and dudes will come here trying to defend that type of behavior. They'll be like, oh, some the girls be wanting, they be wanting us to talk to them. They be wanting us to approach them. And I just be like, these dudes is crazy. Like, they really sit here and try to justify some crazy ass behavior. Where's the accountability? Where's the accountability? We don't have no accountability. We don't hold each other accountable for the stupid shit that we do. A lot of dudes, their friends got rapo tendencies. You know what I'm saying? They violate women. They do certain things. They violate men. Like, and nobody says nothing to them. Nobody says, yo, bro, chill. You wildin'. You know what I'm saying? Like, we just watch. We turn the blind eye. You know what I mean? How many times? How many times we have done that? We got to start being accountable if we, if we actually want some change. I want my children to grow up. It's, it's crazy how, like, People just grow up and they just be trying to run away from the hood like because it's just like it's just a, a, a sick place to be in. Nobody wants to raise their kids there. But unfortunately, they can't just move. Fortunately, the decent neighborhoods, they tend to be a little more pricey. Like, it's crazy, man. Like, the black community is 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 being held under attack by terrorists. By niggas. And it's crazy. Because Dr. Umar said one time, he said, yo, we're going to have to go to the hood and kill these niggas. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's that's how serious it is, right? He said, yo, you think you're going to be able to just tell people, stop selling drugs, stop selling that poison to our people, stop doing this, stop doing that. And you think they're just going to put their guns down and be like, you're right, you're right, brother. We're going to follow you. You're right. Nah, that's not going to happen. A lot of these dudes is not going out without a fight. They just not. That shit is sad. You know what I'm saying? So, I just wanted to share those points. I just want us to look at what's really going on. Like, it's, it's easy to blame somebody. That's the easiest shit we, anybody could ever do. You know what I'm saying? We could blame our parents. We could blame society. We could blame the government. We could blame, 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 blame. But at some point, we have to look at ourselves and, and, and have that pep talk, you know? So, hopefully, this video helps some of us move in a certain direction and, and figure something out. Um, and you don't got to go out there and save the world, but you got to start being accountable by to yourself and to your friends. And then hopefully our communities and our worlds will change. Peace.